What's up guys, my name's Alec from Black House Vapor Company and today I'm taking a look at the new regulations, the July 1st regulations for all vape shops in the state of Utah. Most likely, if you live in the state of Utah, a lot of these regulations are going to affect the way that you purchase vape products and the way that you sample them, just in general, the way that you're going to consume vape products. So let's take a look. I've got these regulations in front of me here. This is what the Salt Lake County Health Department sent us. It's a nice little graphic page they put together that kind of just displays in a very light overview all of the different regulations that are going into effect. I'm just going to explain all of these regulations to you and how they're going to affect you as a consumer. So let's get started. So the first regulation that they cover in this little graphic sheet that they gave us is the regulations regarding the labeling of e-liquids. And what that means to you is pretty much nothing. The labels on e-juice now are required to have a warning stating that the product contains nicotine regardless of whether or not the product has zero milligrams of nicotine, three milligrams, six milligrams, so on and so forth. Now this is not necessarily a new regulation. It seems as though they're just reiterating it on this page. In Utah, we are not allowed to have more than 360 milligrams of nicotine in a single bottle. No matter what the size of the bottle is, 360 milligrams of nicotine in any size bottle. So what that means for us here at Black House is 30 milliliter bottles can only come in 12 milligram. 60 milliliter bottles can go up to 6 milligram. 120 milliliters, 3 milligrams, 3 times 120 is 360. That is how many milligrams we are allowed to have by state law in our bottles. Now you understand that's where we're coming from. That's why we have the strengths of the bottles that we do have. Again, not a new rule, not a new regulation, but something that they're reiterating here. The packaging of, of e-liquid must be child resistant, must have a child lock on it. That's something that has been standardized for the most part in the e-liquid industry for a while now. Child resistant locks on everything are required. And that is a great thing in my opinion, along with the 360 milligrams of nicotine limit, that is what they are trying to help with both of these regulations is help keep kids safe. And that in my opinion is first and foremost above anything else. Okay, I'm moving on now from the little graphic sheet that I got here that had all of those regulations that I just named off to you. And I'm going to the back of this sheet now, and this is actually something that Black House printed out specifically for our customers to take a look at. The sheet that I've got printed out here is from the 8th of this month, and we are in June going into July. And this from the Salt Lake County Health Department is talking about the sampling and demonstration of e-liquids. Basically what's happening on July 1st, 2017 when it comes to sampling e-juice is there will be no sampling e-juice. So essentially come July 1st, we are not going to be allowed as a vape shop to allow our consumers to sample any of our e-juices. That means that the e-juice bar that you're used to seeing at our shop or at many of the shops that you probably visit will be no longer. All of the flavors that we have on the wall will not be available to sample. You will purely have to go off of our recommendation, off of our menu system that we have with in-depth flavor profiles, or based off of what you already know. There will be no sampling, so you won't be able to try before you buy with any of the flavors that we have in the shop, and you won't be able to do this anywhere in the state of Utah. Another subset of this regulation that's going into effect is the fact that all vape shop employees will not be allowed to help customers put together their mods. They will not be allowed to explain how to put together their mods. It will be purely based off of you reading the manual, you going online and figuring out how to do everything all on your own. Unfortunately, vape shop employees will no longer be allowed to be the educational force that they are right now when it comes to vaping. They will merely be retail employees selling you a product with no other information included. You will do all of that other research on your own. 
Okay, so we've gone through the safety warnings on the bottles. We've gone through the actual nicotine content regulations. We've gone through child-resistant packaging regulations. We've gone through prohibiting the sampling of certain products. There are some more regulations when it comes to the back-end side of things with shops having to do with keeping all of your paperwork together. You want to make sure you have all of that on hand. If you have any questions about that, feel free to comment down below. I think that's about it, guys. That's pretty much all I have to say about these regulations. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a warning, I guess, so that you're not blindsided by these regulations. I hope that the shop that you go to has been keeping you informed on the new regulations and when they're coming into effect so that you can be prepared for all of these regulations because they are definitely going to affect consumer behavior when it comes to e-liquid purchase and when it comes to vaping in general. Everything that I have mentioned in this video, I will be posting links down below so that you can take a look yourself at all the regulations in depth. I'll post a link to the actual house rule, the 384-415. I'll post a link to that down below as well so that you can take a look at that in depth line by line. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of informational videos like this, as well as video reviews and e-juice reviews and all sorts of stuff like that. We are going to be trying to compensate for a lot of these sampling regulations that we've got going on by having a lot of media to back up flavors. Anything that we're unable to do in the shop here, we're going to try to get it up on the YouTube channel so at least you can go home, take a look at it when you're home, and you can have the proper information that you need from us still just through our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to see all of this information as it comes out. Thanks, guys. This is Alec again from Black House Vapor Company. We'll see you next time.